Hey guys, so today I'll be um trying to fix this rust on this red side. This is a 2010 Chevy Silverado. Um, it's got some rust on here. Hopefully, it doesn't have any cracks. I mean, any holes in there. But for that, I'll be using these. Um, I have a mixing board for some Bondo. But first, you'll need uh something to grind the rust off with. I'll use this. If you don't have uh, this type of sander, you can use a grinder, but I wouldn't advise using a grinder because it takes too much of the metal off. Just use a wire brush, or um, if that takes too long, if you have a drill on hand, use one of these and just put it on the drill. It should take off the rust faster. And then after I take off the rust and clean it up, um, I'll... I'll have to feather in the edges of the paint, so I'll be using this um, orbital sander to make things go faster. If you don't have that, you can always use a 2x4 a block, a piece of wood that has a flat area and just put it on the sandpaper and sand uh, the edges off where the paint is. And then you can use some filler to fill in the holes because there is obviously going to be some holes in, from rusting, from all the rust building up. And, um, all right, let's get started. And I like to use some tape to tape off my work area so I don't get, um, so I don't go past it. Grind the rust down. Get it, try to get it to bare metal. Now I have those uh, those darker spots on the metal. Um, those are some. They're not kind of the rust is deep in there. So I'm gonna try using a a drill right here and see if it, I can take that off. Now all the rust is off of there, um, so you see how those paint edges are not the per the best. So we'll use sand some sandpaper. You can use 80 grit or and a block or higher grit sandpaper to. <laughs> So now since all the edges are feathered in and it's smooth when you go across it, um, I'll just use some rubbing alcohol and a clean rag. Some filler. I use uh, glaze putty 
Um, it dries faster and it's easier to apply on there. The type it is. This is this is a bit expensive. I think it's around uh, thirty dollars or something like that. But compared to the other one, it's cheap because this one is basically four times the size of the other one that I showed earlier. Now I'll just get it. Sander. I have a sixty grit sandpaper here. And I'll get it into shape. Like it's uh, again into shape the way I want it, so I'm uh, moving on to 120 grit, getting all those uh, 60 grit sandpaper scratches out. And then after the 120, I'll uh, sand it down to 180 or 220. I got it all sanded down. Um, it's really, really smooth. Smooth to touch. I just have a uh, few holes right here that I'm gonna use um, some some of that red uh, putty that doesn't require any hardener to dry. Um, this is the type of uh, spot putty that I use. Um, there's a bunch of them, but it always comes in red, and it's it's really great stuff for minor holes. Don't apply it directly onto metal, because uh, I heard it's not great over uh, bare metal. Alright guys, now that I'm all done sanding this and uh, getting all these holes repaired, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start um, sanding down the clear coat because I don't want to get my uh, primer all spray onto the clear coat because it won't stick. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, 600 grit sandpaper to um, it's the fastest way to remove it. Thank you. 